Well, I am on the phone with Trace Need, and if the last name means anything to you, you know I'm talking about the son of Troy Sneed. How are you? Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for having me here. I could not be better. <laughs> oh, good, good. Now, I have been wanting to do this interview for a little while because I was fortunate enough to be on the Zoom listening party for the new project. Yes, and all I kept thinking is the legacy of Troy Sneed just lives on. And um, for sure. just as a background, we lost Troy Sneed at the height of the pandemic to COVID-19. And I know that that was very tough for you all. Yeah, that was definitely a major point for my family and myself and just in terms of where I'm sitting now um, today. Yeah. That day kind of shaped everything going forward. Completely unexpected, I would say, on our court. And um, yeah, yeah, ever since then, it's just been kind of healing, grieving, um, and growing. And yeah, uh, yeah, that's what this whole journey has been about. Yeah, it it was quite a journey because I know your your brother lost his life also. Yes, ma'am. And uh, it, it was just... I think a recreation of what the record label, Intro Gospel, is representing yeah. now and just a rebirth of you all. Yeah, that's a perfect way to put it. I think um, luckily this was put on my younger sister, Tyler's Needs uh, Spirit. As we were going through the process, and you know, in, in the in the earlier days, it's kind of hard to hard to do anything, let alone thinking about how would we, I guess, want, what would we want to do to honor my father in mm-hmm. terms of some sort of memorial or things of that sort. And I feel like once we kind of got to such a um, good place together as a, as a family, it was Tyler's idea to mm. think that he was able to minister and really impact this world with his music. And that's the best ode we could give to the the fans out there, the people that he is he is touched, and also kind of a a way to connect with my my father, um, yeah, directly. Like we never had an opportunity to sing together. I don't think really he halfway knew anyone in the family really knew I could sing. Yeah, me neither, honestly. Well, I mean, it was four years ago. That four years younger, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Who are you to spout out? Hey, I want to sing too. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. It had to be something that uh, had to bring that out of me a little bit. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, this was a, a special opportunity that I, I'm just so thankful to kind of be in and, again, to be able to continue to honor my father. Absolutely. Well, I know that your your mom and your sister were on that Zoom call, and it got really emotional as we listened to the song All Is Well and what it meant to you all. Um, and the feedback that you got from the people in the industry going, let's move forward with this. How was that like for you? Man, heartwarming, too, to say the least. Uh, I think we definitely were was not um, expecting that reaction to the extent, but I think it goes even further in just showing the, the impact that my father left in the time that he was here and the way he was able to treat everyone that he was able to come across and just it felt good to know that we were able to translate that through the song and kind of give almost that nostalgic feeling that I feel like anybody who was able to come in contact with my dad and um, be able to spend a little time with him, kind of that that same um, feeling. And again, kind of just continuing to bring that on. We didn't want his last impact to be um, felt while he was here. We did not want 2020 to be the last time that we um, could feel the, the greatness that uh, Troy Sneed was able to bring to this world. Amen. Amen. Yes, ma'am. Well, I'm on the phone with Trey Sneed, and the song is called All Is Well. And tell me about this sort of duet that you did. Yeah, um, we definitely tried to do a little ode to Natalie Cole and um, Nat King Cole. And uh, yeah, this was basically the original song that you guys have grown to love um, from my father. And Basically, this is just me being able to add my perspective of what I got from when you listen to the lyrics of that song and kind of just tell the story of everything that has happened um, since that time. And again, we did not want it to be a song of sadness. If anything, this was 
uh, inspiration for anybody when you're going through hardship or anything within your life that you feel is a trial or a tribulation, just knowing coming out on the other side and coming out better. I see my life now and I see the love that I'm filled around, that I'm surrounded with. And honestly, it came from, uh, stemmed from just the love that the relationship that I was able to have with my father and him giving me the tools and the, um, the lessons to be able to take care of my mother and my sister. And, you know, this was a kind of a, a way to me for me to tell him directly, man, all is well. Mm. He did a phenomenal job with the raising of me and the kind of the leadership of our family. And I just want to be able to keep that going. And this was the, this song in this moment was the best way to share that with the world and with him directly. That all is well. I love you, Dad. That is Trey Sneed along with his dad, Troy Sneed. All is well. And it just, I'm revisiting the call. And during the time of the call, my father was getting sick and he passed away this past February. And it just makes an impact on me even more now when I hear it again of how important um, the legacy of your your family, your parents, your grandparents, how important that really is. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No, I agree with that 100%. Yeah, I, I'm sorry to hear that about your father, but I know that the time that you were able to have with him, I think in the the years coming, you'll be able to, it might be even if it's uh, sore right now, you'll be able to look at it with, uh, with the warmth, yes. the, the kind of warmth that I feel that I have now. I only especially for my own personal story, when we first lost him for the longest, all you could think about was the loss. And now I find years down the road, I only can remember the the times that I was able to spend with my dad. And I think about it in happiness. Um, Absolutely. I'm looking forward to that as well. Well, we can get the music everywhere. And how can they find you? Yes. So we, again, we want to keep this train rolling. We want to keep the impact and the legacy going. We are on social um, we are on Instagram and Facebook. You can find us at Troy Sneed underscore legacy. And the song is available on all platforms. Wherever you get your music, you'll be able to find the song. And again, we want to keep using that to pour into everyone and just continue to stream the songs. And we are very excited for everything to kind of enjoy this journey together with all of you guys. Absolutely. Well, Trey, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. And again, man, your family is such a strong family. And I know that, you know, you say that when a person first passes away and how hard it is, you don't want to hear that. But as you grow in strength, you can see it and you can feel it. And that's what I'm doing right now with you and your family. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We're going to keep it going. Thank you so much.